Modern cooking appliances are not designed for efficiency. A measure of their inefficiency is that cooking a meal can heat up a kitchen. In addition, many appliances come with warnings not to touch hot surfaces. Hot surfaces are hot because heat loss is high due to lack of insulation. Homes, water heaters, and refrigerators are insulated. Why not pots? Even coffee mugs are insulated. With more efficient cooking appliances, cooking can be done economically and sustainably with photovoltaics. The system we developed was designed primarily for the developing world. To reduce costs and maximize sustainability, the cooking system does not use batteries. The power system is relatively simple and consists of a manual track 380 watt module and a maximum power point tracker. A maximum power point tracker is, is an electronic gearbox which keeps the module operating at its maximum efficiency as the intensity of the sun changes. Power system, the power system will power any AC appliance containing a resistance heater. When connected to a 1000 watt hot plate in full sun, the output of the tracker is 320 watts at 68 volts. A PV direct solar cooking system has a number of advantages over solar thermal cooking. Some of these are being able to cook indoors, better performance on cloudy days, and the ability to provide electricity. To minimize energy consumption, insulation was added to most of the appliances tested. With a well-insulated appliance for boil and simmer cooking, power can be turned off when the contents of the pot begin to boil. The thermal mass and insulation allows the food to simmer without additional energy. We call this a retained heat cooker 2.0. What is unique about this cooker is that the pot is insulated while it is being heated and after the power is turned off. For the hot plate shown, a double walled evacuated stainless steel cover insulates the pot. The cover remains in place when the pot is initially heated and when it's simmering. Rice cookers typically have hollow walls and lids. To reduce heat loss, we fill these hollow spaces with insulation. On the second model, we also added additional insulation externally. Here are some images of other devices we powered with our solar direct cooking system. The oven will remain at 170 degrees, 177 degrees centigrade while consuming only 125 watts. <clears throat> Cooking beans typically takes a considerable amount of energy and time. With an insulated rice cooker, the process is simple and efficient. In the evening, the beans and water are placed in the cooker. The panel is then aimed at the location of the early morning sun. In the morning, the beans will automatically start cooking at sunrise. The beans will be completely cooked about four and a half hours later. To measure the caloric cooking capacity of our cooker, we assume that bright brown rice typified what is normally consumed and that the caloric intake from cooked food is about 1,800 calories per person per day. For a family of five, this requires cooking 2.5 kilograms of grains. The energy to cook this food can be collected in just three hours. On a sunny day with cracking, this is only about one third of the energy which could be collected. When the system is not being used for cooking, energy can be diverted to a battery. 
With the auxiliary battery, we are charging cell phones, powering lights, and running a four cubic foot SunForce refrigerator. Since submitting this abstract, we have tested a new retained heat cooker. It incorporates a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery and a 400 watt DC hot plate. This system could appeal to those a bit more affluent. With the power turned off, the insulating cover will keep the pot above 68 degrees centigrade for 11 hours. This allows food cooked in the morning to be consumed late in the evening. The system will work equally well with solar direct and grid tight systems. Larger pots will keep food hot longer. For institutional cooking, food could be cooked midday and served 24 hours later. Because of the cost of battery storage, thermal storage is particularly valued for, mi for many grid and off-grid solar system. The cost of producing and consuming a kilowatt hour of electricity midday is roughly four times less than consuming it after sunset. With thermal storage, food could be prepared midday and consumed late in the evening, minimizing the need for costly battery storage. In conclusion, if energy is used efficiently, a single 380 watt PV module could make a family energy independent. 